All right, welcome back. In this, we're gonna go over acid catalyzed hydration. I made a lifetime total of two hundred eighty-five dollars and seventy-eight cents. Sorry for my little bit of a hiatus. Um, I've been studying for the MCAT. Registration for the MCAT was today, and I didn't really need to grind for the test. So that's why. You know what? I'm gonna tell you this. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I may be biased, but what I'm saying is a fact. Use my videos to study for the MCAT if you're gonna take the MCAT. It's so good. <laughs> I, I use okay. Let me tell you this. I use UWorld, which is a great MCAT resource for questions. It's a question bank. Huge one. Like 3,000, 2,000, 100,000, whatever. Questions. I'm not even joking. For the amino acid questions, like the 200 that they give you, I basically could, I could answer all of them just from one video, the classifications of amino acid video that I have. I was able to basically answer all of them. It's that good. And I'm not, I'm not bullshitting you. I'm just I'm telling you. Like, that's, you can go try for yourself. You don't believe me. It's pretty good. So all my videos are really good for MCAT, uh, MCAT studying. So, you know, <laughs> watch time. Revenue. Um, in other news, uh, my little rant here is if this video looks a little bit different, I don't know. I'm recording this for the first time. We're going to see how it goes. If the video format looks a little different, blame GoodNotes. I use GoodNotes to record, right? That's how I do all my information, all my videos. I use GoodNotes. Every single update, it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. This is for the, this has been going on for the past eight, nine months. And like you would think after the hundreds or thousands of one-star reviews that they have, they would think you, they would wake up and realize that what they're doing is wrong. But no, they just make it, you know, even more. They, they find some way, some a stroke of God to make it even worse. And that's, you know, that's impressive. So blame them. Don't blame me if it looks different. Anyways, ran over. Acid catalyzed hydration. Hydration reactions are a group of reactions that add water by using the double bond of an alkene. So grab your water bottles because we're learning about how to add water. There are three main ways of adding water by using an alkene. This video will show you one of them. So in this video, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you the reaction and what you need, the recipe for it, and seropacity stuff. The actual practice problems or mechanisms will be in the next video. This video, I just want to, you know, take it slow, you know. So here's the thing, important. For acid catalyzed hydration, the OH group always goes on the more substituted carbon. You're probably wondering, wait a second, you just said we're adding water. What's this thing about uh, an alcohol, right? Uh, OH group. We are technically adding water. So here's what we're doing. We're taking an alkene and we're putting hydronium in the mix, right? In the beaker, we're dumping a lot of hydronium in there. What's gonna happen is the double bond's gonna attack the hydronium. The OH group, an OH group from the hydronium is going to go to the more substituted carbon. And a hydrogen will go to the less substituted carbon. And that's where the water is coming from, right? Because think about this. We have, we're adding hydrogen to the less substituted carbon. And we're adding an OH to the more substituted carbon. That's two H's and one O. That's H2O. That's water. So we're not directly adding water, like the whole molecule to one side of the, of the molecule, we're, we're breaking it apart. One side gets the OH, and the other side gets the hydrogen. And I'm going to show you which goes where. But here, here's what you need first. Here's the recipe. Before you can cook, you need to know the ingredients. You need an alkene. I think that's kind of self-explanatory because we're doing an addition reaction. And I kind of told you that we need an alkene. What we, what we also need is hydronium. Now, you can do it this way. Or there's another recipe. Because sometimes, you know, you can, there's a many... I mean, actually, it's not really true, but there are many different recipes to get the same product. I mean, maybe it's kind of true. I don't know. I don't cook. But this is, a, this is basically a different recipe. You can have an alkene plus water plus sulfuric acid. And you're like, wait, 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 wait. Alkene plus water, you know, isn't that good enough? No. You need sulfuric acid. And here's what's happening here. When you combine sulfuric acid, which loves to give up protons, it's an acid, it, it wants to give away protons, right? It's like a charity. It wants to give it away. 
When you mix these two things together, sulfuric acid will give up its proton and hand it over to water. Water is like homeless, right? It's asking for money. So sulfuric acid is going to say, hey, I see you need money. Let me give it to you. Let me just give you one dollar. That's what's happening. One, one hydrogen, a hydrogen is like a, like a dollar. So sulfuric acid is going to willingly give one hydrogen to water. And notice when you add one hydrogen to water, which already has two hydrogens, it becomes H3O or hydronium. So when you do the mechanism, so say on a, on a, on a practice exam or practice, on an exam or practice problems, you're given this recipe here, this reaction. You will, you will be doing the mechanism for this. It's the same thing. It's just, this is an additional step just to confuse you. Because, you know, professors just love to do that shit, right? They just want to do that. They want, they want to make you, they, professor's job is to make sure you fail the course. I don't know why. That's just how organic chemistry is. If you don't believe me, then why are the averages, you know, 40%, 50%? This is just an additional step. It's a given that when you mix these two things together, you get hydronium. So on an exam, once again, if you're given these stuff, just do the mechanism for this. I promise you're going to get the question right. But that's, that's the reason. That's the whole song and dance about it. Um, okay. I think that's, that's everything here about that. Um, okay, here's the mechanism. Okay, here's what we're doing. The alkene is protonated, forming the carbocation intermediate. So the double, what's going to happen is the double bond is going to attack the proton of hydronium. This is hydronium, right? H3O. It's going to attack it. And then since, you know, this bond goes away, it has to go to the oxygen and, you know, stabilize it. It creates this carbocation intermediate. The carbocation must always, 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 always go on the more substituted carbon, right? This is more substituted than this because it has more branches. So the carbocation will go here. So the double bond goes away because we used it. And we form a carbocation on the more substituted carbon. But more importantly, we have the hydrogen here. Now, the hydrogen goes in the less substituted carbon. Because if the hydrogen went on the more substituted carbon here, we would have an unstable carbocation. Because remember, carbocations like to be on the more substituted carbon. Because look at this. If I were to... Hopefully this doesn't break. Okay, so say we erase this. Like that, and we, and we just imagine we put the hydrogen here and the carbocations out there. So then we have a carbocation here. That is not stable whatsoever. The molecule is just going to break apart. So we cannot do that. That's why the hydrogen goes on the less substituted carbon. And the carbocation goes on the more substituted carbon. Notice that this is planar geometry. This will come into importance a little bit later. Now, we have an electrophile here. Our carbocations, right? They're positively charged. You know what electrophiles like? Nucleophiles. So they're going to make love. Water will act as a nucleophile and attack the carbocation. Because let's, let's think about this, right? We had hydronium here and we stole one proton, right? We are left with water in the beaker. We're left with water. So we're going to use that water as a nucleophile. It's going to attack the carbocation. This creates this intermediate oxonium, or however, however you pronounce it, I don't know. But it creates this. Now, we have a positive charge on the oxygen. Our nucleophile that we just added has a positive charge. That's illegal. You're going to go to a jail. Or that's equivalent to getting an F on your uh, exam. You cannot have a positive charge on your nucleophile you just added. That's illegal. So what are you going to do? You have to depronate somehow. Well, we can use water, which is still in the beaker, because we have a lot of... When we do these reactions, right, we have a lot of hydronium in there. We don't just add one molecule of it. No, no, no. We have gallons and gallons of it that we're putting in the reaction. So there's leftover water. So the water is going to depronate it. It's going to steal it. And it's going to stabilize this positive charge. Now notice that it steals the proton, right? So the water is going to steal the proton. When water steals a proton... It becomes hydronium. It becomes H3O. So we just regenerated what we had. This gets stabilized. 
And since this goes away, we are left with OH and alcohol on our molecule here, on the more substituted carbon. And that's a that's the that's the mechanism. Not too bad, right? It's like yeah, it's pretty good, you know. Okay. Now, just because you know, life just is, couldn't be easier. There's two mechanisms. Not two mechanisms. Well, it's reversible. Here's the thing. If you have this, you know, our recipe here, and you have dilute H2SO4, sulfuric acid. Like this is the same thing, right? It's the same thing here, right? It's it's just this, but if it's if it says dilute, it's gonna favor making the alcohol here. However, if you have the alcohol and it says concentrated H2SO4, conk, it's gonna form this instead. Now, hopefully, this does not look new to you because I actually already did this reaction before. You know, I don't know, like five, six, seven, eight videos ago. It's the same thing. Um, uh, because guess what? If I'm going to, from here and we're adding a double bond, that's an elimination reaction. We've already done these. So that's, that's, I'm just now where I'm basically showing you the other version of this going this way in this direction, forward direction here. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Stereochemistry. When the carbocation forms, the geometry is planar. This means water can attack from either side. Okay, so let's go back here. When this reaction happens, the nucle nucleophilic attack, this is planar, okay? It's kind of flat. So what happens is water can either attack from the front side here, or it can do like a, you know, enter from the back side, like doggy style, right? So it can go from the, from the other side, the back side. When this happens, it can create wedges and dashes. In fact, it creates a 50-50 mixture, also known as racemic. Racemic. Okay. <laughs> so, whenever you do these reactions, make sure you put both of them. If it's chiral, if your molecule is chiral, make sure you put both of these answers. You have to put the alcohol on a wedge and then redraw the entire molecule and put the alcohol on a dash. You have to put both. Otherwise, you're going to get the problem wrong. It's, this is like three points here. You know, professors know that you're not going to remember this. So they, they're like, <laughs> you know, the student, you know, let's draw the averages, you know. So um, for, you know, professors love curving classes. So yes, okay. Racemic. Whenever you have, whenever your molecule is going to be chiral, it's always going to be racemic when you do this reaction. You're going to get a 50-50 split. Okay, that's it. I think I'm done. Um, if, you, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Until next time, later.